Hello, I'm Jeff Nelson, product manager for the Piper line for Bugo Systems. We're going to do a video of the uh, setup and installation of the Piper Plus product. We're going to start with the Piper PSR2000 ring rail. We've already marked the distance from our weld to our rail. It's about eight inches away from the joint. We set it up with the teeth facing away from our weld joint. And you can see we latch just in one place. Press them together. We have to make sure that the tongue and groove line up. And they snap together. And hold it down. Isaac's tapping the ring rail into position so it aligns with the, the marks. Then we take a standard hex key, tighten the rail onto the pipe. This is done for an initial setup. Once this adjustment has been made, it doesn't have to be done each time. The ring rail itself can snap on and off without making these adjustments. And now the ring's sturdily in place. Next we're going to put the tractor, the piper itself, on the rail. On the bottom side of the carriage are the standoffs. They allow us to locate the carriage on the rail easily. There's the sliding mechanism that latches the wheels onto the edges of the rail. You can see the latch sliding them in and out. And also the latch that slides the pinion into and out of engagement with the gear teeth that are on the rail. Now with both of them open, you rotate the carriage onto the rail, close the wheel latch first to make sure that it's properly engaged and you can see that it can slide in position and then we close the latch to engage the pinion. We can disengage the pinion so that we can reposition the tractor anywhere around the rail that we might need to work. I'm gonna mount the umbilical cable to the tractor. First item we're mounting is the gun assembly. It goes into a uh, keyed quick connect and then there's a screw that tightens that quick connect. Next, we'll connect the control cable. It goes in the rear of the tractor. It's keyed so that it can only go in one direction. It slides into place, and then there's a latch that snaps over top of the ears to hold it into place. Then we hold the entire cable with a strain relief so that we're not pulling on either the cable connection or the gun cable assembly. You grasp the cable with the folded aluminum angle and you tighten the wing nuts just tight enough to keep it from slipping. Don't over tighten it. We don't want to crush the cables inside. For detailed information regarding connection of cables and hoses to the Piper Plus control box and the welding power source, along with information regarding connections to the wire feeder and the initial installation of welding wire and shielding gas, please refer to the Piper Plus Quick Start Tech Sheet supplied with the system. After the tractor has been mounted to the rail, we need to move the welding gun into position so that we're ready to weld. The top row of switches on the operator pendant uh, provide us the ability to jog the various uh, axes of the tractor. The first switch allows us to slide the gun up and down. Pushing down on the switch drives the gun towards the workpiece. Pushing up on the switch drives the gun away from the workpiece. Depending on your weld process, you'll set that distance at somewhere around one half to three quarters of an inch. The next switch is our wire feed. This will jog our wire towards the workpiece. Again, pushing down on the switch allows us to go toward the workpiece. 
Pushing up on the switch pulls the wire away from the workpiece. Our next switch is our jog for our weaver. If we hold down on this switch, the oscillator will move as programmed. You can see we're a little to the left side of our joint, so we use our steering knob to change the position left and right. Again, checking the position of the between the weaver and our steering knob. We get it located where we'd like. Now we like our weave position. Now we move our tractor. Our last switch allows us to jog the tractor around the pipe. You can see going forward it goes at a very slow speed for about five seconds and then goes to full speed afterwards. After ensuring that the tractor and welding gun are in the proper position, confirming that the correct welding wire and shielding gas are installed, and that the proper welding file and pass are loaded, welding can commence. Once the arc is established, it is typically a simple matter of observing the weld process and making minor adjustments to the welding gun position via the steering knob on the control pendant as required by the joint being welded. With the Buggo Piper Plus, exemplary results can be achieved. Outstanding visual appearance, uniform quality, and increased productivity all come standard with the use of the Piper Plus system. Buggo Systems has been supplying cutting and welding mechanization since 1948.